Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy minecraft video where today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to help out a poor golem that's sick and I have a feeling if we don't do it no one else is so let's go and speak to the villager and let's go and see how we can help. Hello Navid, our village golem is sick and will die if we get ambushed by any zombie apocalypses. We need you to enter his body and retrieve the spawners for other types of golems. Hurry before it's too late. Wait, what do you mean you want us to go ahead and enter his body? I have a feeling that basically means we have to go inside, fix whatever is wrong, and hopefully help him out. So let's go see what they've given us. So we've got a basic diamond bone sword, as well as an ender pearl to go ahead and teleport inside. But guys, before we do that, it would be really awesome if every single one of you went down below and you pressed the red subscribe button. And don't forget about the notifications bell because the villagers have never missed another video ever again. Well, let's go and use our enderpearl and let's go and see what happens. Whoop! Wait, where are we? I think we've just teleported inside his own body and there seems to be loads of doors. Ah, with skeletons inside. Okay. And wait, is that a golem? I have a feeling this could be whatever's going wrong with him. No! And it's an evil golem! Okay, I think we have to go ahead and fight him off because if we don't stop them, it'll be pretty bad. And they are definitely evil golems. Okay, where's my sword gone? Oh, I think we've got to go ahead and break this and we should get it back. No! He's trying to get us! Maybe we could do with getting some better weapons. Okay, let me go and try and fight him off and let's be as careful as we can. But even though he's going to try and fight us off, it is going to be a pretty intense fight. And he seems to want to go ahead and climb every single vine, which is going to be pretty impossible for us. Let's try and chase after him before he goes ahead and tries to heal up. And then we can go ahead and figure out what's going on inside this golem chamber. This must be exactly where the golem goes ahead and gets all his information. Perfect! I think we've done it. Whoa! Wait a minute. Is this the golem we're trying to help? I have a feeling the evil golem was taking over this side of his body. So let me go ahead and see what's inside. Oh, so we got some golem heads, which is pretty cool. And let's go and see what's inside the other one. Ah, we have loads of golem items. So they want us to go ahead, spawn every single one of these golems and figure out how they can help us. So I'm guessing this part of the golem is now safe. So all we gotta do is keep on going and one by one, clear out all these chambers. Let's go and try and fight them off. Perfect! Even if we die, we have definitely sorted out part of his body. Maybe we've done like a left leg or something. Now! He's almost got us! Quickly! Oh, let's keep on going. We haven't been able to go ahead and die that many times on this second one. Let's keep going. Perfect! Yes! I think we're doing it! We must be so close right now. Perfect! Okay, we've cleared out the bedrock side, which must be his inner core. Oh, and we have more golem head spawners, which must mean we have more items to go ahead and spawn. This is actually really awesome. Let me go and see what's inside the other two. There must be some pretty cool items inside. Ah, there's another golem. Okay, let's go and try and fight him. Let me try and get as many hits as we can before we die. And once we do, we should be pretty close to him being destroyed. Um, I think it's this side. Let's keep going. And perfect. I think we must be close right now. There we go. And awesome. Die, evil monster, die. <laughs> okay, let's keep on trying. We are so close in clearing out every single one of these chains. Chambers. But this one has an obsidian chest, which is slightly different, and it is surrounded by emeralds. It must be what's keeping it all alive. Oh, so they want us to go ahead, spawn all the golems, and then afterwards we can spawn these creatures and figure out how friendly or how dangerous they are. Okay, let me enter the final chambers and let's just rush into the diamond one and let's just go ahead and finish them off. Perfect and good. No! Oh, this one's going to be a bit difficult, but I think we should be able to fight him off as fast as we can. And then we can go ahead and open up the chest and take out whatever's inside. Come on! Oh, this one is one of the most dangerous creatures I've ever had to fight. He is definitely a true champion. Let's keep going. And there we go. Perfect! I think we've done it. So we've cleared out every single one of these items. So we've got more golem items as well as loads of golem blocks. Do you know what? I'm totally ready to go ahead and do this. So let's make our way back to the real world and hopefully we should be able to spawn every single one of these golems. And perfect! I think we're back and we've gone ahead and brought the iron golem back to life. 
Hopefully now we won't ever have to worry about the village getting destroyed. But he's trying to go ahead and thank all the villagers. So I think a better way to go ahead and do this is if we start spawning loads of these wonderful golems and they can slowly by slowly start to protect the village. So this one is the end stone and he will go ahead and randomly teleport around. So we've got to be really eyeful for this one. And then we also go ahead and do the emerald one, which I think is going to be a really strong one. And these are usually the ones that last all the way to the end. So we start spawning some of these monsters now. We'll be able to figure out which ones are our favorite and which ones are just super durable. Let me spawn a few scattered around. So let me do the quartz golem, which I'm going to spawn right here. And perfect. And there he goes. The quartz one is just super powerful. And you will have some wonderful attacks that should go very nicely along with the crafting one. Which sadly we've easily misplaced. So we're just going to make sure we don't mess up with any more of these. So let's spawn these right around here. And perfect. And let's also do the golem head. And we can go ahead and right click him at any moment. And he'll pretty much allow us to craft whatever we want with him. <laughs> he's one of the coolest ones. And he's got a perfect outline of his golem face. Let's not also forget about the redstone one, which I'm going to spawn the redstone lamp right next to hopefully the redstone one itself. And this should be pretty good. And perfect. See, he's already a light. So we don't actually have to add any redstone whatsoever. But to go ahead and pretty much be a wonderful addition, let me do the normal redstone. This one's going to be super bright. <laughs> I think they will almost last forever. Hopefully they won't go ahead and blow anything up. Especially if I decide to go ahead and spawn the TNT one right beside it. But actually, let's go see what happens. Maybe we could actually be really surprised. There we go. Will they blow up? I, I really hope they won't go ahead and destroy anything. Okay, I think we're all safe. Let's keep on going and let me also go ahead and do the orange one as fast as we can and then afterwards we can go ahead and spawn every single one of those spawners. Let me also do the prismarine which I've sadly misplaced and hopefully we should be able to pick this block back up. We've definitely got to make sure this doesn't happen with other blocks. Ah, and I think we've lost it. Maybe we have just to go ahead and leave it. I might just put them together. Maybe later we can find the next piece. Let me also do the glowstone one, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Now, this is another one that if you misplace it, you won't be able to get it back. And perfect. I think we're all set. <laughs> and look how happy he is to be inside our world. Hopefully, you can go ahead and have loads of fun with the hay golem. So let me do this one right there. And perfect. Slowly by slowly, this village is coming together. This is exactly what happens when you go ahead, try and help out the villagers to save one golem. You get so many in return. Let me keep on spawning some right around here. I want to make sure that we have enough. So let me spawn. Let's do the obsidian. And then we can go ahead and do the purple concrete. This should be pretty good. And perfect. This is another one that's going to be super strong. But let's not give up now. And let's build them as fast as we can. And let me also do the furnace one. Which I'm just going to keep on doing right around here. And perfect. Let's add the golem head. And good. But sadly, this furnace one is just completely turned off. We need to go ahead and add some coal. Which maybe I can find later. Is there a blacksmith house around here somewhere? Maybe we can go ahead and get it later. Let me do the bone golem. Which is going to turn out completely different to all the other ones. See, I told you. He's got a piece missing from all around his body. Do you know what? He's one of my favorites too. Let's not give up now. And let me do the diamond one. Which I'm also going to spawn next to the sponge one. Which I want to figure out what happens if we go ahead and do them right near the farms. Let's go see if it works. I'm really hoping he won't steal all the water forever. Perfect. Yes, <laughs> I told you. Okay, but sadly now the farm is slightly destroyed. Okay, I'm going to have to get that water back somehow. Maybe we can use some buckets on him. Let's also do the slime one. And perfect. Let's go ahead and spawn him as fast as we can. And it would be really awesome if he could jump around. But sadly, he's stuck to walking. Well, let me go ahead and do the final few, which is going to be really cool. Let me do the lapis lazuli one right next to all these other ones. And perfect. Let's also do the oak leaves ones as fast as we can before they disappear. And perfect. And let's also go ahead and do the next few. I can see that they're all trying to run to the center. So I think that's going to be a good spot where we can go ahead and spawn our evil mobs. Let me do the sea lantern one right around here. And perfect. And let's do the final seven as fast as we get them. Let me do this right here. 
and perfect. I need the golem head. And let's also do the sandstone one, which sadly is going to be a super strange one, which I'm actually looking forward to figuring out what they do. And perfect. Now, I wish we could go ahead and trade them to get the items they made out of. But sadly, that's for another day. Let's do the golden one. And look how many they are. I think we're going to have one of the strongest villages we've ever had. Let me just do the final couple and then we'll be completely finished. And then we can go ahead and end up. And perfect. Let's do the magma one, which was sadly just destroyed. Hopefully we get it back. Nope. <laughs> we're all out again. And let me go ahead and do the bookcase one, which is going to be our final one, I'm guessing. There we go. And the two golem ones are the ones that belong to the two we didn't get to finish, which is sadly quite a few. And now's our chance to go ahead, take out all these spawners, and we should be set. So let's wait for night time, and let's go see how we can fight them off. Well, here we go. I think now's the perfect time to keep on going and let me spawn as many zombies as we can. Perfect! <laughs> Let's go see if it works. Now, I'm going to spawn basically every single one and we'll be able to figure out very quickly which golems are the ones we want to keep. Whoa! Look at them all! They're all going ahead and fighting them as fast as they can. Perfect! I think it's working. I am slightly worried though that I might get hurt myself. <laughs> the slime one will go ahead and give an amazing knock back. Ah! What is that thing? I think we've got an evil mutant skull head. Oh, this is awful. Well, I think they've done a great job. But next up is the more evil ones. Let me do the mutant skeleton. I'm perfect. Hopefully we can do this. Whoa, he's fighting them all. And look, he's jumping around trying to go ahead and destroy them. And I think he has killed one of them, which could maybe be the glass one. And the redstone one. Oh, this is not good. Hopefully we should be able to go ahead and finish them off. But I think they're going to go ahead and finish this off in no time. They are doing the most amazing job. <laughs> and look at them all running towards him. I think this is great. Now let's just go and make sure they've been destroyed. Yep, I think we've done it. I can see all his pieces scattered all the way around. Next up is the mutant creeper. Perfect. Let's go see if they fight it. Now, sometimes I do know certain golems won't go ahead and fight against evil creepers. But for this one, we're going to have to go ahead and maybe join in. Here we go. Perfect. Let's keep on going. And hopefully we should be able to go ahead and destroy him. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, oh, this is not good. And I think he's instantly enraged the diamond one as well as our normal iron golem. Whoa. He's going to blow. No. This is not good. And I think he's killed so many golems. That was such a hard fight. And I can see that the diamond one as well as the glowstone one is slowly by slowly starting to break. But you know what? We've done a good job. Even though a few golems have been destroyed, so many of them have helped us out. And for the next few, I did want to go ahead and do the mutant zombie. There we go. Let's go see if they help. Golems, get him. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Now the golem one's going to be so enraged and the emerald one is going to keep on going too. <laughs> Whoa. And the TNT one has taken out the other golem, which is not going to be a good addition for us. How did the golem get up there? Okay, let's keep our eyes open and let's go see which golems are the best ones to keep. And look, they've already gone ahead and finished the first stage. But let's not give up now and hopefully we should be able to keep on going. Whoa! Get him, golem! Get him! <laughs> and there he goes. I think they're going to be super angry. But thankfully, we are finishing this off together. I've gone ahead and spawned the golems and I think he's running. This is not good for us whatsoever. Oh, he's down. Let's go and see who's going to win. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Emerald Golem that's going to win this crazy fight. Whoa, look how mad he is. Here we go. Perfect and good. And there we go. Oh, slowly by slowly, he is spawning and mutating other monsters. I think this is going to be crazy. The Glass Golem is hating this so much. And I think the Mutant Zombie is slowly by slowly going to be destroyed. Get him, Endstone. Get him. Okay, I think we should be able to do this. And there it goes. Finally, our emerald golem is completely destroyed. Let's go see if this works. Okay, here they come. <laughs> Let's go to see what's happened. Whoa! Okay, and there it goes. The glass golem is completely destroyed. And there goes our other golems. This is perfect. No wonder the villagers want us to just go ahead and save their friends. But I think slowly by slowly, we should be able to do this. Get him, guys. Get him. And I think our golden one isn't going to survive much longer. Perfect. 
and good. And let's just wait for him to get down. Maybe we can head inside the house and fight him off. Here we go. If we go ahead, make our way up, we should be able to do this. Perfect. And good. And there we go. Yes. This is the best thing that we can do is go ahead and help out our wonderful friends. So let's rush back as fast as we can. And let's go and see if we can do this. Whoa. I can see golems being thrown around everywhere. Have they done it? I think they should have. Perfect! I think they've gone ahead and destroyed the evil mutant, which is so good for us. I can't believe it. Well, guys, it's been pretty awesome today going ahead and fighting against every single one of these evil monsters. Hopefully now we should be pretty safe. And I can see so many golems still survived. So thankfully, I think we should be safe until daytime. Well, guys, it's been really cool today going ahead and having so many wonderful friends with us. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and find some coal and alert this evil furnace. This is going to be pretty decent. Yep, I don't think I have anything set unless I could go ahead and use some logs. There we go. <laughs> Finally, he's alive. Well, guys, I will see you soon in the crazy Minecraft video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below if button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press the notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.